Hello class, good day, welcome to our module 10 and then our lesson 8 is uh, we are going to talk about the Bernoulli differential equation and its solution. So, dagan na tag ano sa differential equation. Una is nag ta unsa ang differential equation. Ang uh, differential equation is na siya general solution and particular solution. And then, nag din ta about sa pag-solve sa uh, differential equation na ito ikatong Ito ang gitawag ng variable si parable, if you remember. And then, we also have the homogeneous uh, differential equations. Katong ang degree sa whole equation uh, are equal. And then, aside on is nag-discuss about sa exact and an exact differential equation. No? So, not tayo exact differential equation. And then, we also talk about the non-exact differential equation. So, ito pinakalas nga na-discuss, di ba? We talk about the first order linear differential equation. So, sa, so, sa ito ang pag-solve gani, wala tayo magamit diri. Then, we use the first order linear differential equation. Again, so, if you recall, di ba? Itong ma masulat ng differential equation as like this. M of xy dx plus n of xy dy is equal to 0. So, aside on that, we can also write the differential equation. We call this the standard form into dy over dx plus y, p of x, is equal to q of x. Or, so in this uh, first standard form, the dx, dx is the independent variable. Or, we can also write that uh, the equation as dx over dy. So, in this uh, second standard form, the y is the depend, uh, independent variable. Plus x, p of y, is equal to q of y. So, if you notice, we use this in our, uh, nagsugot na diba sa exact and exact and then the first order linear differential equation. So, now actually related, lagi uh, si Bernoulli differential equation with uh, the first order linear differential equation. So, so may kalainan na nila. Diba sa exact differential, diba natin exact differential equation and then with non-exact differential equation, ato siya pama pangitan ng pamagi para may mo siya og exact differential equation. So, same thing with the Bernoulli differential equation. We uh, uh, try to find ways nga may mo siya og first order linear differential equation or equa differential equation. I don't ato siya masolvan. So, when do we call an equation to be a, a differential equation? Nga, natawag natin siya as a Bernoulli differential equation. So, if you remember, this is the first order linear differential equation. Pariyara na sila gnaong. So, ang Bernoulli differential equation looks like this. So, standard form is, uh, is like this. dy over dx plus y p of x is equal to y to the n uh, times q of x. Or dx over dy plus uh, x p of y is equal to x to the n q of y. So, ayalang mo kataratan. Actually, uh, pwede gano'n siya mag-change ng values. Dari, pwede gano'n siya may mong dr over dx, dz over dt, something like that. So, ato lang tanaw is dapat we know the variable. So, uh, so ang form ng differential equation for this standard form, ang itsura sa Bernoulli is like this, dy over dx plus y p of x so, mura siya similar sa first order linear differential equation. But the thing is, ang Q of X, kanisa gawas, na siya abay nga Y raised to N or X raised to N. So, sa ato diri, is wala siya abay. So, here this is the Bernoulli the differential equation. So, sa may pamagi pag-solve ani. So, ang first is, uh, diba? For instance, if we have this standard form dy over dx plus y p of x is equal to y to the n q of x. So, first step dude, is if you have a differential equation, you should write it in this form. You should write it in standard form. And then afterwards, it determine mo kinsa si p of x and q of x. So, q of x is a pure function of x. p of x is a pure function of x also on this side. So, kinsa tong abay ni y, maong ito si p of x. Kinsa tong abay ni y raised to n, that is q of x. Now, afterwards, nasa may susunod na ito buhaton, ani? 
So, para ato siyang ipariya og naong ni first order linear differential equation, no? So, di ba si first order linear differential equation na ito ay something like dy over dx plus yp of x and then is equal to q of x lang siya. So, on this side, sa gawas, para may mo na lang ng q of x, let's say, buhat na ito sa whole equation. So, we multiply the whole equation with 1 over y to the n or or we multiply the whole equation with y raised to negative n. So, di ba, by loss of exponent, so katong anything uh, uh, variable nga naasa ubos and it has a passive exponent, if imo na siyang ipabutang sa numerator, then the exponent sa denominator becomes negative n. So, more na siya. So, i-multiply na nyo sa whole equation. Then, this equation then becomes y raised to negative n dy over dx plus, so here we have y times y raised to negative n p of x is equal to q of x. So, if you notice, medyo dool na siya diri, but napatay buhaton, aron mas parihan ang kitsanya na itsura. So, let's say next ato buhaton, if you notice na tayo y times y to the negative n. So, by multiplication or by loss of kuan gya po no exponent sa multiplication of kuan variables with same base, so same silag base, pwede siya masulat na ito as y raised to what? So, ang exponent ani nga value y is 1. And then, you add the exponent of this one. So, that is plus negative n. Or simply, y is equal to 1 plus, ah, sorry, 1 minus n. So, ato i-rewrite. Then, the whole equation becomes y to the n dy over dx plus y raised to 1 minus n p of x is equal to q of x. Karun, unsaon mo na ito nga this equation becomes a first order linear differential equation. So, naan na di rin na-involve dahil yun si substitution. Unsaon mo na ito yung substitute. Kanin siya nga value. Kanin abay ni P of X. So, let's just say that let Z is equal to Y raised to 1 minus N. So, atong Z is Y raised to 1 minus N. So, if we derive z, so ito ang uh, differentiate ng equation. So, we have dz is equal to, so by power rule, we have 1 minus n times y to the 1 minus n minus 1. And then dy. So, simplifying further this equation, we have dz is equal to 1 minus n, y raised to, so 1 minus n minus 1. So, makadsala si 1, this becomes y to the negative n dy. So, sa may next na ito buhaton, if you notice our differentiation on this side, di ba similar sila? Where? Here. So, sa ito pa, atong isolve for y raised to negative n dy. So, to solve this, we multiply the whole equation with 1 over 1 minus n. So, kanin siya, mahimo na lang din siyang dz over 1 minus n is equal to y to the negative n dy. So, we already have this relationship. Then, therefore, we can change this one into this one. And then, kanin po siya, mahimo na siyang z. So, rewriting the whole equation, kanin sila, we have here dz over 1 minus n times 1 over dx. Kaya ito naman yung silang i-change into ane, uh, in this one. Is equal, uh, ano, plus z, p of x, because atong z is y raised to 1 minus n, which is this one, is equal to q of x. Uh, ako lang i-tiwas, 1 over uh, 1 minus n, dz over dx, times dz over dx, plus z times p of x is equal to q of x. So, this is already almost similar to the first order linear differential equation na standard form. So, sa may buhato na lang nato, Dri, ang kulang. We remove this 1 minus n by multiplying the whole equation with 1 minus n. So, sa ito, ang kanisang equation then becomes dz over dx plus z times 1 minus n times p of 
x is equal to 1 minus n times q of x. So this equation is already a first order linear differential equation. So yung anong naman, unsa man yung 1 minus n. So don't worry with 1 minus n. Uh, this 1 minus n is just a constant. It is just a number. So mura na siya na multiply sa equation. So there is already no other variable. And then therefore, this form is already in our first order linear differential equation. And sa may next na ito, buhaton, kung naan na siya first order uh, linear differential equation, sa ito pa, ato siyang isolve using the first order linear differential equation. So, okay, akong isulat here. We have the fourth step. So, akong, I will just rewrite the whole equation nga in koala, in first order linear di uh, differential equation. So, so, you have z times 1 minus n p of x is equal to 1 minus n q of x. So, sa may mahita po, since uh, this becomes a different equation, a whole new equation, uh, let's just say that this is this will be our new p of x. But uh, to have a koan, nga mura siya malain, Let's say that 1 minus n is just equal to uh, times p of x is equal to p of x sub r. Then this one becomes qr of x. So, say purpose ni kay para ma different ma change lang nato siya para mo same gitsa ang gitsura ni uh, first order linear differential equation. So, rewriting the equation, we have dx over dz, uh, dz plus over dx plus a z, p of rx, uh, p of x, r is equal to q r of x. So, this is already in uh, first order linear differential equation. On some so, uh, way, pag solve na to, with, with the first order dif uh, linear differential equation, if you remember, we are going to take an integrating factor, i of x, which is equal to, so in this case, that is equal to e uh, raised to p of r x dx. So, yan ito, di ba, itong gibuhat? And then, after we got the integrating factor, we multiply it with the whole equation. So, e uh, p of r x dx times dz over dx plus z p of r x is equal to e to the p p r of x dx times q of uh, q r x of x. So, muna na siya ito ang yeah, equation. If we integrate both sides, so you remember, if we rewrite this one, we can write this as uh, the derivative of z. So, kaning abay, abay na din nga z times e to the pr of x dx is equal to e to the integral of pr of x dx times q of x. So, integrate both sides as the constant c, arbitrary constant c. Then, we have z times e to the integral of p of r x dx is equal to the integral of e uh, to the p of r x dx times q of e, q r of x so not any r no we forgot plus c and then substituting our z uh divide if you don't do one z is equal to y raised to one minus n so we have y raised to one minus n e to the p r of x dx is equal to the integral of e raised to the integral of p r of x dx times q r of x plus c. So if you remember, kanisha is the integrating factor, you multiply sa whole equation, and then if we multiply the integrating factor sa whole equation on the left hand side of the equation, it will form like this. It uh, it looks like a diff um, the derivative of z times e to the integral of p r of x dx. So this will be then the final answer. So same gapon if we use the other way around, we have the dx over uh, dy. So same uh, equation na gapon na itong button. So uh, mura lagi mo sa mga ang solution is x raised to 1 minus n 
e to the uh, p r of y dy since y na po siyang variable is equal to the integral of e to the p the integral of uh, p r of y dy times q r of y plus c so mo ano po ni sa other nga okay so uh, para mas masabta na to then uh, let's start our first example after this uh, video